In just the past few years, we've seen a rise in the number of major weather disasters, from floods to fires and devastating hurricanes. The world's getting warmer, we know that. But scientists are still studying just what effects our warming climate are having on our weather, especially those damaging mega storms we see. Now we're getting some new data, not just about climate, but about Americans shifting views on the topic of climate change and climate science. So specialist Carl Parker is here to talk about that, Carl. Yeah, this is a new study from the University of Chicago, and in this study, 70% surveyed accept the reality of climate change, only 9% do not and 20% were unsure. Also, very interesting fact is that about half of those who were polled actually have changed their mind, changed their views recently, and of that 48% who say the science is more persuasive, 76% changed their views because of extreme weather. So the fact that we're seeing more floods, stronger hurricanes, that type of thing is what changed their mind. But we've learned just a lot about the science, just the huge heaps of in loads over the past 10 years. We have indeed. I mean, things are really progressing very quickly. And most scientists agree climate change is real and is at a crisis level. And the Climate Reality Project aims at finding a global solution with the need for urgent action. This nonprofit was founded by former Vice President Al Gore. And I recently had the chance to sit down with him to talk about the group's efforts. I think all these grassroots activists deserve a lot of credit, but honestly, I think Mother Nature deserves the lion's share of the credit because, uh, unfortunately, these extreme weather events connected to the climate crisis are just coming at us fast and furious. In the last nine years here in the U.S., we have had 17 once in a thousand year events. Now you do the math on that, it's not hard. <laughs> That's way off. And the reason we're having all these extreme events, like Hurricane Florence and Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Michael, like the droughts and the fires and so forth, like the sunny day flooding, the reason for all that is that uh, we're using the sky as an open sewer, putting 110 million tons of man-made heat trapping pollution up there every day, and the cumulative amount now traps as much extra heat energy as would be released by 500,000 uh, Hiroshima-class atomic bombs exploding every day. Is it frustrating, or how much time are you spending trying to defend the science versus looking for solutions? In recent years, we haven't had to spend as much time fighting back against the uh, false narratives of these polluters because people have seen through that for the most part now. Will you talk a little bit about the role of faith-based yeah. initiatives and some of the other disadvantaged groups and, and how uh, they need special attention when it comes to climate change and the climate crisis? Yeah, I made a tour of quite a few areas in the southeast, uh, often with Reverend William Barber II from North Carolina, and we visited some of the uh, disadvantaged communities that are more likely to be hit by the location of coal ash sites, smokestacks, hazardous waste dumps. We, the people of the United States of America, have to reclaim our own destiny and make the decisions about what our lives are going to be like, what our environment's going to be like. Uh, and the civil rights movement uh, and social justice movement is kind of blending with the climate movement as the people in these frontline communities come to realize some more keenly that they are being impacted much more. If you could go to every person in the United States, you go to the front door and knock on the door and you just drive something home and look, yeah. look them in the eye, what would you tell them? Our children and grandchildren are facing the gravest danger that our country has ever confronted and it's up to us to save them from what they will have to suffer through unless we change policies. And the good news is we have all the solutions available. We can reduce pollution in the air and water at the same time. We can create tens of millions of new jobs and lower people's electric bills all at the same time. Are you with us?